Hello. Hi there. Oh, I didn't mean to startle you. I was just surprised. I just haven't seen another person in years. What brings you all the way out here? Are you lost? So your car broke down and your phone can't get a signal. But why wander in here? So you were looking for a nearby ranger station for help? I see. How long have you been wandering out here? You poor thing, it... You must be exhausted. I'm glad I found you here. You should come with me. I know this forest like the back of my hand. I can get you food, water, and you can rest at my place. I can even make a nice warm fire for... Oh no, it's no bother at all, I insist. You look like you could use a good rest. Ranger Station. Uh, yeah, of course I know where the nearest one is, but it's quite a ways from here. Trust me, it's better you take a moment to regain your strength. Nonsense. I can't allow this. It's too dangerous for you to be walking out there in this state. You really need some rest, dear. Take it from me, who's lived here practically all my life. Come with me, and I'll make sure to protect you from the wilderness. Look, I'm not trying to be pushy, but I really think you should come with me. I have food, water, and a warm place to sleep. It's not safe to be out here all alone. Come on, it'll be fun. I can even show you lots of cool places no one has ever seen. I know you'll love it. Don't be silly. Of course you can trust me. I promise I'll keep you safe here. I'm not asking for anything in return. Won't you just let me help you? Well, I won't take no for an answer. You're coming with me, whether you like it or not. Hey, where do you think you're going? Stop, you can't leave me. Well, it looks like you've given me no choice. Don't worry, I'll take good care of you. Just relax. Oh, great spirits of the forest. I come before you now to express my gratitude for all that you have given me. All my life you've given me food, water and shelter, and have shown me true beauty many never get to see. And now... You finally answered my prayers for a forest companion, someone to love, care for, and to share my life with. May the forest always be our. Oh, you're finally awake. You took quite a fall. How's your head? I brought you back to my home and cleaned your wound. I wrapped it up with some of my special herbs. They're very effective and should ease the pain in your leg. But you're still going to need to stay off of it for a while. Don't worry, I'll be here to take care of you. I can bring you food and water and anything else you need. You don't have to worry about a thing. Just rest a bit in this hammock and I'll take care of everything. I just want to make sure you're nice and comfortable while you recover. You're in good hands. I didn't want to hurt you, but it was for your own good. At the state you were in, you wouldn't be able to survive out there on your own. As beautiful as this place is, it's not a safe place for someone as vulnerable and inexperienced as you. There are many hostile, wild animals that can attack you if you're not careful. There's tons of poisonous plants that you must be familiar with, or you could get very sick. And the terrain itself is also quite treacherous. There are tons of steep hills, rocky outcroppings and hidden ravines that can be very dangerous if you're not paying attention. I'm so glad I found you before something bad happened. Someone as small and precious as you wouldn't last very long out in the wild. Oh, don't lie to me. You strike me off as a city boy. I bet you've never even climbed a tree before. And can you even start a fire without a lighter? I didn't think so. Ranger Station... Yeah, I'm sorry, but I kind of lied about the ranger station to convince you to go with me. No other humans have ever been in this forest. 
Phone? I'm afraid you'll find no phone in here. Why would I need a phone to connect to the world outside the forest when I have everything I need right here? The trees, the animals, fresh air, and of course our great forest spirits. Having a phone would only serve as a distraction to the beauties life truly has to offer. Not only that, but they can also hinder one's survival. If you wish to survive out here in the forest, you need to always be alert and aware of your surroundings. Glued to the screen, you could miss a movement or sound made by some creature that could mean the difference between life or death. That's why I'd done away with your phone and watch. You won't need those frivolous devices anymore. Huh? Home? Oh, sweetie, the forest is your home now. Everything you'll ever need is right here. Why would you want to go back? Why worry about all those bills, rent, constantly working, and all that stuff when you can just live off the land and enjoy the beauty of nature? I know it may be hard to believe, but living in the forest is the best way to live. Free of stress, work, and an overall simplistic life. I've lived in the forest for as long as I can remember, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Just imagine waking up every day to birds chirping and the sun shining through the beautiful trees. Never having to worry about getting to work on time or traffic. Always enjoying the peace and quiet. You also don't need any silly gimmicky gadgets here. All one needs is the basic necessities such as food, water, shelter and love. The best part about living here is that it's all natural. You'll never have to worry about pollution, chemicals, or things like that. Our lovely forest spirits provide all the fresh air, clean water, and organic food that one can ever desire. You know this was truly the way us humans were meant to live, right? Humans are so cruel, always taking away from the forest and never giving back, always poisoning our sacred waters, cutting down all of our beautiful trees and destroying thousands of ecosystems. But I know you're not one of them. I can sense the goodness in your heart. And I know our beloved forest spirits would gift me the perfect man to relieve my loneliness. Oh, don't be sad. I know how you feel. I used to feel so lonely in the forest, being the only human around. But then I found you. And I felt so happy and excited. You're like a breath of fresh air, bringing new life and energy to the forest. And I know that the forest spirits are just as excited as I am because they've been sending me all these signs and omens. They're telling me that you're meant to be here, that you have a special purpose in the forest. And I believe them because they've never let me down before. So let us embrace this new adventure together. We're going to have so much fun together. We can go on hikes, make cute bracelets and explore the most sacred parts of the wilderness. You and I can forge a life together based on love, simplicity, and nature. Doesn't that sound just lovely? No? Well, I'm sure you'll come around eventually. Anyway, I don't believe we've formally introduced ourselves yet. What is your name? Oh, what a lovely name. But... If you don't mind, I think I'd rather call you something that I feel is more personal and shows my affection towards you. And also, your new connection to the forest. So, my precious little one, how about I call you my nature nugget? I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, fine. Maybe we can change it later if you really want to. Who am I? Well, I guess I never was actually given a name. I'm just a girl who's been self-sufficient within the woods. I've observed many paths, many creatures, many plants. I've seen the seasons change numerous times. I've witnessed so many animals come and go. This is what my world has always been. The forest spirits are what allowed me to get to where I am now. They've always been there to guide me through the forest, helping me pass through many challenges. I am truly thankful to them, and I know that as long as we listen to them, we'll find the right path. Oh, I have an idea. 
Since I gave you a name, how about you give me one? Lily? Hmm. That's so perfect. I love it so much. I've always loved the smell of sweet lilies in the forest. See? I knew the great forest spirits would find the perfect man for me. We're going to have a life of love and happiness together. I can already feel it. We'll grow old together, telling our animal friends of all the fun moments we shared together in our youth. And when our time finally comes, we'll be buried in the forest, where our spirits will remain forever. We will become one with the forest spirits, as they will guide us through the woods, showing us the wonders of the forest we love so much. We will be at peace, knowing that our love for each other and the forest will live on forever. What? What about your family? I'm sorry, honey, but we're so far distant from any civilization at this point. This is your new life with me and the rest of your new family. The trees will feed you delicious fruits on those hot summer days and provide you firewood to warm you up on those cool winter nights. You'll wake up peacefully to the pretty birds singing and you'll calmly fall asleep to the chirping crickets. We can go swimming in the river, dance with the animals, swing on vines and cook delicious meals over the fire as we stare into the stars at night, thanking our almighty forest spirits for another wonderful day of tranquility. And best of all, we'll have so much fun exploring the forest and discovering all its secrets. Secrets that even I have yet to discover. It's going to be an adventure of a lifetime and I can't wait to share it with you. Why the nervous look? Aww, oh, I'm sorry you're feeling that way. But don't worry, the forest is a magical place full of wonder and surprises. And the forest spirits are always watching over us, keeping us safe and happy. You just need to open your heart and your mind to their guidance, and you'll see how amazing the forest can be. And as for feeling alone, you're never truly alone in the forest. You have me and all the other creatures to keep you company. We'll be your friends and your family, and we'll support you through thick and thin. And if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here to listen. I care about you and I want you to be happy. I know it might seem scary at first... But trust me, you'll fall in love with it in no time. The forest spirits are always here to guide and protect us, and they'll help you feel at home. And as for survival, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm an expert at hunting, fishing, gathering and crafting. Living here all my life has allowed me the chance to master many weapons and tools crucial to survival. I know all the best spots to find food and water and I'll do what I can to make this cabin feel as safe and cosy as your old home. Once your leg gets better, I'll even teach you everything I know about survival. We'll start with the basics, like finding shelter and starting a fire. And once you've mastered those, we'll move on to more advanced tasks like hunting, crafting tools, and purifying water. And if you ever get hurt or sick again, I know how to treat it with natural remedies and herbs... So don't worry, just stick with me and I'll make sure nothing happens to you, my little nature nugget.